Hey there guys, today we're taking a look at Black Mesa running on the AMD Ryzen 5 5600H running on the B-Link SCR5 Mini PC. Now we've taken a look at this game before running on the Ryzen 5 5500U and what we found with that specific system was that at the 15 watt TDP, which is what the chip itself is set to stock, the game was really struggling along and it took going all the way up to around 28 watts for things to actually start to pick up in terms of performance. So it was surprising surprisingly demanding. Now this chip itself on this specific mini PC has a target TDP of 35 watts. And what we end up getting out of that is actually surprisingly good levels of performance. It is of course an improvement over where we were at before with the 5500U, which makes sense because we are of course running at a higher TDP and we are on a newer Ryzen architecture. But overall the level of performance that we're getting is rock solid across the board. Now of course we do have to run this at the potato quality, which is surprising to see for something like a source game but it is one of the best if not the best looking source game on the market right now when you really crank up the graphic settings in this game it can look absolutely gorgeous for an engine that at this point is pretty ancient in comparison to what is on the market today but the amount of passion that the developers had for the original half-life really shines through in all of this and the aesthetic really works and in general it is pretty much the best way to replay the original half-life now our one percent lows are going to pretty much stay at around a low 40s range with our averages staying at a 80 fps range with an average by the end of this run being 81. Now of course our 1% lows and our averages will fluctuate depending on the specific area of the map that we're in but in general you're looking at around 1% lows that are in the 40s range and an average that is around 80 sometimes going into the 90s. In general very enjoyable to play and if you're willing to sacrifice some of your fps average you can of course turn up some graphics settings but the fact that our 1% lows are below 60 pretty much makes me want to not mess with anything like that because in the moments where it drops down even lower than in the 40s it can really feel pretty brutal in general though it is a very very enjoyable experience and it is the best way to play half-life currently it is pretty surprising just how demanding this can end up being for a game this old though now of course on this mini pc we can't exactly adjust our tdp so this is pretty much the overall experience that you're going to get here but in general it is very playable and i think that the vast majority of people are going to find this to be more than acceptable and it's the perfect type of game to actually play on a system like this if you've never played the original half-life you've only heard about it this might be the perfect opportunity to do it this game goes on sale pretty regularly for just five dollars and five dollars to play such a classic game remade with so much love behind it it's pretty much a no-brainer and if you're someone that is really really passionate and very interested in video games i think it's one of those games that when you sit down and play it'll really show you just how groundbreaking it was by establishing a lot of the conventions that you kind of just come to expect out of games in general that you don't even really think about but were so revolutionary at the time it's one of those games where it really holds up super well just because of the fact that it was so ahead of its time and the improvements that come with Black Mesa are really remarkable. This is one of those games that I just really love booting into and just playing because it is so much fun. So if you're interested in the game, of course, look it up on Steam. It's pretty much the only place to get it right now. And it goes on sale all the time for $5. If you're interested in this specific mini PC, then it is linked down below. But I hope you found this quick look at Black Mesa running on the AMD Ryzen 5 5600H to be useful or entertaining. If you did, be sure to subscribe. Channel membership are enabled so if you guys would like to support the channel that way you can we do have a one dollar tier now so if you would like to support the channel for as low as a dollar a month that would be greatly appreciated we're going to be taking a look at some emulation running on this specific system really really soon and as well as some tests on the 5500u and we're going to be doing a comparison between the 5500u and the 5600h so if you're interested in that be sure to subscribe i'm currently working on a big list of games that we're going to be doing for a comparison video there so tune in for that and i will see you guys in the next one